Hey misfits, welcome to today's DIY. Becca decided to make a groundhog and I'm gonna do a voiceover. So these are actually the instructions. She went a little geek with it because she went and researched everything that surrounded Groundhog Day with in bulk and everything else. And then look at her little instructions. Look at that little thing. Oh, she has a sock. I think that's some cloth. Uh, I wanna say some string and some more cloth. Another string, but well, ribbon. Some more string. Nice pokey stuff. And some stabby stuff. All right. Oh, don't forget the fluff. Let's do this. Oh, I think that's rice. Put that back in the bag. All right, so you take your sock. I think we're going to cut it in half with the rice. No, no, we're going to fill it with the rice. All right. Sounds like a good plan. So just stuff it in there. And pat it. So you fill it all the way, put that rice in there. And then you fill the rest of the way with fluff. Just shove it in there. Now we're going to tie it off, give it that cute little seal, oh, we're going to throw it, and you're going to get your first cloth. Alright, we're going to roll this out a little bit, uh, some about two. Oh, you're going to fold it in half, okay. Alright, I um, guess we're going to measure. how much you actually need so you want to keep a good amount I guess we're gonna don't forget to fold it at the ends because that's gonna be your hemline I guess this part's confusing but sew it like that all right I'm gonna fold out kind of make it look like a little pocket a little gnome hat Shove the little potato in there. Give it a nice good spot. You want to pull it down just enough so you know the gnome space is going to have enough room. I'm going to take that extra little piece of cloth. We're going to make his nose. Or what I'm assuming is going to be his nose. I'm just going to fold it up. See how big of a nose you want it. Um, we're going to get a fork looking thing. I don't know, this wasn't in the instructions. This is new. This is new product. I'm just as, oh, we made some teeth. Okay, so this is optional, I guess, you know. Just get some extra piece, make some teethers. I don't know why you got teeth. Oh, hello, Kato. No, no, don't lay there. Okay, good. So, um, I don't know why we have the teeth coming out of the nose, but, um, should have put a little mustache. And then the teeth. That would have been really cute. So, now we're gonna all sew it all together. So, get your little thread ready. And just stab them. Oh, I lied. These are whiskers. And, you know, just tie them off all the way at the bottom when you've sewn it through. That way the whiskers stay connected. And then you just want to cut off the length that you want. This one has some medium-sized whiskers. Put as many as you want on there. She went very light with the whiskers. And now we're gonna um, attach something to his butt. Oh, is this his tail? I think it's a tail. Wait, do groundhogs have tails? I think they do. 
So we're gonna cut out his tail, shape it, We're gonna shape it. I don't exactly know what's going on here, but it looks like we're shaping it, turning it into like a little balloon. Oh, are we making the feet? Oh, we're making the feet. Okay, okay. Well, put it more in frame so we can tell. All right. So you make the little feet and then you stab them on there, sew it all together, connect it, uh, throw some shit at it. Give him a little flower bouquet. Look at that close up. Hello, Mr. Nomi. Oh, he's a ground gnome. Hello, brown gnome, goodbye. All right, hope you enjoyed this week's video. Thanks for watching, be welcomed, and get creative. I hope you enjoyed my first and hopefully not last voiceover. Bye guys. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs>